Let's go to 4A. A health inspector analyzed the amount of sugar in 500 different snacks prepared in various school cafeterias. The collected data are shown in the following box and whisker diagram. State what 13 represents in the given diagram. 13 is a median. For B, write down the interquartile range for this data. We know this is the minimum, maximum, the first quartile, the third quartile. The interquartile range IQR equals Q. 3 minus Q1, which means 18 minus 12 equals 6. For 4C, write down the approximate number of snacks whose amount of sugar ranges from 18 to 20 grams. For whisker plot, from a minimum to first quartile, this is a 25%. From first quartile to median, 25%. This is 25%, 25%. So from 18 to 20, it will be 25% times 500. That equals 125 snacks. Let's go to 4D. The health inspector visits two school cafeteria. She inspects the same number of meals at each cafeteria. The data is shown in the following box and whisker diagrams. Meals prepared in the school cafeterias are required to have less than 10 grams of sugar. States, given a reason, which school cafeteria has more meals that don't meet the requirement? For school cafeteria 1, we could say 50% of the meal meet the requirement. For school cafeteria 2, only 25% of the meal meet the requirement. Therefore, school cafeteria 2 didn't uh, meet the requirement. Go to 5A. Stephen was uh, invited to perform a piano recital. In preparation for the event, Stephen recorded the amount of time in minutes that he rehearsed each day for the piano recital. Stephen rehearsed uh, for 32 days and uh, data for all these uh, days is uh, displayed uh, in the following box and a whisker diagram. And uh, data for all these uh, days is uh, displayed uh, in the following box and a whisker diagram. Write down the median rehearsal time. Since this is a whisker plot uh, diagram, the median is uh, this number here. And uh, be careful about the unit. This is a 10, so one unit uh, represents uh, two minutes. So we have uh, 42 minutes is the median for 5B. Stephen states that uh, he rehearsed uh, on each of the 32 days. State uh, whether Stephen is uh, correct. Give a reason for your answer. Stephen is uh, correct because the minimum value that the whisker plot uh, shows is uh, 20 minutes. Let's go to 5C on K days. Stephen practiced exactly 24 minutes. 
find the possible values of uh, k. 24 minutes is uh, the first uh, quartile in this uh, whisker plot diagram. We know all the data here is uh, 32. 32 plus 1 over 2, that's the entry for median. It's a 16.5. For this point, it's a 16.5 data, which means 16 here, 17 here. For the first 16 data, for Q1, it will be 16 plus 1 over 2. That equals 17 over 2 is 8.5. So it could be 8 here, 9 theta here to get this uh, 24. In other words, for this 24 could be the average of the 8th and the 9th theta. In other words, it's possible there is no 24 minutes in the data list. Also possible to have a eighth and a ninth data both twenty four minutes. It's possible to have a three twenty four minutes or four twenty four minutes. Then it could be the sixteenth data is also twenty four minutes. There are at most fifteen data whose value are 24 minutes. This is the answer for K. Let's go to 6A. In a high school, 160 students completed a questionnaire which asked for the number of people they are following on a social media website. The results were recorded in the following box and whisker diagram. Write down the median. 0 to 50. Here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So each one stands for 5. Here, this is the median. That will be 1, 2, 3, 4. 200 minus 20. So it's 180. The following incomplete table shows the distribution of the responses from these 160 students. Complete the table. So we know from 0 to 100, this is 25% of the data. This part is 25%, 25% and 25%. From 0 to 100, we have 25% uh, times uh, 160, which means uh, 40. 40 minus 4 will be 36. We know from uh, 200 to 300, this is uh, 25%, which means uh, 40 people. 40 minus 16 will be 20. Four. For 6C, write down the mid interval value for x greater than 100, less than or equal to 150 group. 100 plus 150 over 2, that is 125. Let's go to 6D. Using the table, calculate an estimator for the mean number of people being followed on the social media website by these 160 students. First of all, since this is a grouped data, we need to figure out mid interval value for each interval. We have 25 here, 75, 125, 175. 225, 275. So we go to graphing calculator. We go to stat, edit, 
L1 is a 25. 75. 125. 175. 225. 275. Then for L2, we will put the frequency 4, 36, 34, 46, 24, 16. Then go back to stat, calculate one variable stats. Don't forget uh, for the frequency list, second two, L2 then enter. So we get uh, the mean 155.625. Three sig figs will be 156 uh, people. So the mean number of uh, people being followed uh, on the social media is uh, 156.